is a huge honor to be out here, especially following John tonight, um, or I guess this morning now. Uh, and I wanted to uh, go through how we actually got here uh, today. So we started off this actually working with John, like he said, on Toy Story 3. So we created uh, a pitch for those guys where we wanted to do this toy box mode. So like John said, the toy box mode was something where we wanted to do something a little bit different with the license game, let you play with Andy's toys any way you wanted to. So when we worked on that game to begin with, we really went back, we, we actually saw the early reels of the film in, I think, about 2008. And we were really impressed by this whole idea of imaginative play, that, you know, you see Andy playing with his toys in those different ways. And we went back and we looked at the way that our kids actually play. So these are my sons and their cousin right now. And we looked at the way that they played, and as they bring those toys out of that toy box, and they keep changing the story that they're telling, depending on which toys they're bringing out. And we kind of went back and thought in our own minds about those epic play sessions that we used to have when we were kids. And every single one of us had different examples of that, but we really felt like it was true for all of us, that that was a way that we created stories. And so what we wanted to do when we came up with the next game was to be able to go ahead and blow that out. So we started on a sequel to Toy Story 3, which was actually going to be more about Buzz Lightyear instead of Woody and Jesse's world. And we were working on that, and then John Pleasance joined the company. And when John joined up, he said, you know, what we'd really like to do is just blow this out to be much bigger. We need to think big, we need to think about launching a platform. Not just one game, but something where all of our games can fit into. And so for us, that meant that we had to combine this together with all the, de the different Disney characters. And so we worked with John and his team on creating this idea that we could go back to that same foundational conceit in Toy Story, where all of the toys, even though they're a mishmash of toys, they all work together and it makes sense. So in working that through with the Pixar guys, we then needed to come up with a visual aesthetic that would actually make sure that all these toys could work together and be, in John's words, this cool collection that belonged together on my shelf. That's really what we were trying to get to when we designed the aesthetic behind this. So we've got a lot to show here today. That's the genesis of this, but I've got uh, this really cool video that we've got set up to actually show you a little bit of what's possible in this game.